The greatest need in America tonight is profit. The greatest need in America tonight is profit. I speak unto thee this day, and I say when a people is near unto me, they are not ashamed of humbling themselves. That is, they are not ashamed to humble themselves to me day by day, to walk in the way that I provide. I say they are not abhorring repentance, but I say they are participating in the same day after day. For they know, understand, and realize that to be near to me is their life. But I say that the ones who are pretenders and hypocrites, the ones who are mockers and scoffers, will go in the way of their own lust. And all the while they will lay the claim they love me, they serve me, but I say they do not love me at all. For I say that their deeds are steeped in wickedness and lies, pretension, and hypocrisy, and that is what they love. For I say they have chosen the way of a fool, they have chosen the way that is far from me. Now I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when men will think, they may put on their vain shows, put on their proud parades, put on their displays, and I, the living God, am convinced by them, I say they are deceiving themselves. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely have no respect for those who will walk according to the dictates of their own wicked minds. And I say that I have no respect for those who must indeed have it their way instead of humbling themselves to walk in my way. For I say such ones as these are fools, they are fools, they are fools, magnified fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time giving forth the call to any and all that will hear to repent. For I say when men are genuinely repenting unto me and seeing the error of their own wicked way, then I say they are far from me. And I say, when men are genuinely repenting, humbling themselves, and coming in the way that I provide, then I say they are near unto me. But I say, when men are proudly boasting themselves in the arrogancy of their own conceit, then they will go in a way that is far from me. And even though they may continue to name my name, I say that they have no part of me. And I say it is because they are choosing to be losing by walking in that which I, the living God, do not intend. Now I say you are living in a time when indeed evil and wickedness are bound on every hand. But I say that my own people are meant to keep themselves unspotted from the world and to walk uprightly in me. And I say if the ones who lay claim that they love me would serve me wholeheartedly, would serve me in truth and purity, then I say they could alter the worlds they live in. But I say when they refuse to be conformed unto me, I say they are simply a part of the troop of mockers who go by. That is, in the sense that they do not live their lives uprightly, they do not walk circumspectly, and they do not seek for me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will give my mercy to a people who will choose to walk in the way that I ordain and provide. And I say that I will bring them forth time and again if they are seeking to be pleasing unto me. But I say when the people are walking in the way of their own stubbornness, their own pride, their own lack of desire towards me, I say they are not living for me, but I say they are living for the God of self and loving itself. But I say in the end they are the ones who will howl and moan in the bitterness, the anguish of their choices against me because they have estranged themselves from my way. That is, they've gone abhorring after that which I the living God never intended, and yes, they will be overwhelmed in the same. And I say they've gone in a way that I the living God did not provide, I say it is the way of fools. And I say, because they have chosen such folly, then I say they are found far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to go in folly, but I say that I call you to come forth in the light, the life, the strength of who I am. And I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you can be brought forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And I say that I call you to be glad each day that you can be directed, corrected, and ever guided by me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. For I say, if it is me that you will be believing, it is of me you are receiving time and again. Now I say, therefore, this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever present, who are ever thankful, who are ever guided by me. That is, by seeking me with all of your heart, by walking in the way that I give you, each and every day. And I say, be made glad that through me you are directed, corrected, and brought forth each and every day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness revealed. 
Now I say, consider how stupid it is for a man to claim that he loves me, to claim that he'll serve me, then live for other gods. That is how stupid it is when men will go in the way of stubborn, proud, hard-headed fools. That is when men will go in a way that I did not intend nor provide for them. That is, they go in the way of the wayward, the careless, the foolish, and in the same they are overwhelmed. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to the way of foolishness. I do not call you to the way of vanity and pride. But I say that I call you to the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, that you can indeed be guided by me. For I say, if you will be walking in the way that I, the living God, do intend for thee, then you are brought forth by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the mercy that I do bring. Therefore, I say, continue to be a people who are ever seeking to please me, who are ever walking uprightly in me, and guided forth in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the life source, it is me, the living God, who is the mercy, and it is me, the living God, who is the way provided for my own. And I say, when my people will continue in humility, when they will continue in subjectivity, when they will continue in thanksgiving and serving me, I say, they will be able to repent unto me. But I say, when my people will harden their hearts and stiffen their necks through pride, then I say, they are bound far from my way. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do call you to walk uprightly, I say that I call you to be thankful each and every day. And I say that I call you to know what it is to be kept, for it is me, the living God, who will keep you each and every day. And it is me, the living God, who will direct you in that which I do provide for my own, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who is the mercy, the truth, and the hope provided for those who believe upon me. Therefore I say this day be glad that I give to you the privilege to walk uprightly, that I give to you the privilege to be ever guided in me. And I say, be thankful that I am the one that you can look to, believe and entrust, for I am well able. For I say, when you look at the sources that men will trust in, they are nothing but lies and liars on every hand. And I say that men will put their lives in the hands of that which is falsehood, rather than yield themselves to that which is truth. And I say that the process they go through in it all is nothing but degeneration and damnation of soul. I say this day that I, the living God, am searching the earth for the ones who will repent, for the ones who will choose my way and be brought forth in the same. And I say that I'm searching for the ones who will believe upon me and trust me, for I am indeed well able. For I say, of course, you are in times of darkness getting darker on the horizon, because men have refused to live for me. And I say that the light has nigh gone out in the earth because of the wickedness of men. But I say, nonetheless, it is me, the living God, who is kindling the flame to cause the ones who will believe, who will repent and live in repentance revolution, to come forth guided by me. Now I say, therefore, this day be thankful for the privilege to look to me, to believe upon me, to trust in me. And I say, be thankful that I will guide you forth each and every day, for you are meant to be mine. That is, if you will be walking circumspectly, if you will be keeping your vision single, if you will be hoping in me, then you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light that can only be found through me. Therefore, I say, in a way with a perverse, a vile, and wicked generation, let it be me, the living God, that you continue to look unto and believe. That is, let it be me, the living God, who is the life source, the truth, the hope, and the power provided always. For I say it is a good thing to keep on trusting, believing, and partaking of me day by day. And I say it is a good thing to be knowing that I am indeed the one who gives you eternal life. Therefore I say this day do not, absolutely do not be weary in well-doing, but continue steadfastly each day. That is, in the way that is my truth, my light, my mercy, the way that I provide. For I say, if you will be coming forth ever uplifted, guided, and directed in my way, then you are given the truth always. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will indeed provide for any and all that believes upon me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am aware how far men are from me, yet I say, in my mercy, I call them to repent. For I say, that there will be some amongst the ones who are far from me, who will hear and obey. And I say they will love me with a great passion because they will know what it is that I've done for them. 
that is, they will know that I've saved them from the penalty of hell for the wickedness they lived in before me. Now I say this day the idol of in God to reach out in mercy, calling and calling and calling for men to repent. And I say that the ones who truly hear and obey come into my way, they will be guided by me. But I say that the ones who choose to lose by going in their own understanding in their own way are proven to be stubborn fools. That is, because they are choosing in opposition to me. Now I say this day do not choose in opposition to me, but I say choose to walk uprightly in me every single day. And I say choose to be thankful that I give to you the light upon the path and the truth of who I am. And I say be thankful that I will purpose, direct, and guide you for as you will but cleave to me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the truth, the light, and the mercy, and the way revealed. And I say if you will be serving me each day in gladness and rejoicing, then you are uplifted, guided, and directed by me. I say be thankful even now that it is me that you can look to, that it is me that you can believe in and trust. And I say be thankful even now that I will direct, correct, and bring you forth. For I say, when you will indeed stay attentive unto me and walk in the righteousness that I provide, then you are being kept each day. But I say, when you stray from me to go after any other way, you are playing the whore on me. I say it is stupidity to play the whore when you could be faithful and true, when you could receive the rewards of the righteous that I give to the ones who continue in repentance unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever available. It is me, the living God, who is the resource of life and truth and hope always. And it is me, the living God, who go does indeed provide for the ones who serve me the way wherein they are kept. Therefore I say, be thankful even now that you are guided, directed, and instructed by me. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to stray from the way that I give, the way of eternal life. And I say, be thankful that you can be brought forth, knowing that in me you are given the truth always. That is the way that is mercy and hope, peace and strength, and the way that is my life provided. Now I say, continue as a steadfast people, ever trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am indeed well able. And I say, do not reach out to that which is the arm of flesh, and think that the same will be a shield unto you. For I say, there are many who have lost their lives by trusting in their own defense, by trusting in the defense of the arm of flesh, and I say, they recovered no more. But I say, when it is me that you look to as your life source, I say, you will not be ashamed. Therefore, I say, in the times of wickedness and darkness that are at hand, keep your vision single that is upon me. And I say, do not be holding in your mind resentment towards me, but I say, be thankful each day. For I say, you are not meant to resent me, but I say, you are meant to serve me each day with gladness, and be ever thankful unto me, that you have been given the privilege to be redeemed, brought forth, and guided by me. And I say, continue in repentance, revolution, not only for yourselves, but for any and all who will hear the call to obey. That is, to obey by repenting unto me each day. I say, be thankful for the truth, the light, the strength that I give. Destruction comes because God says so. And why is it coming? It's because we are a rebellious, we are a reprobate, we are a hypocritical, sinful, slimy, sleazy nation that stops the word God and we don't mean it. We don't love the Lord at all. We love ourselves, we love our money, we love our materials. We love our mechanisms, but we don't love God. We only say we do, but in reality and in practice, we don't. We don't worship Him. The church don't worship Him, the state or the family. They don't worship God the way God deserves to be worshipped. It's only lip service and not heart service. And that's why more destruction is coming. What if what I'm about to tell you makes you question, what is what? What if I propose a what if scenario? What if I were to take up precious time in your busy life, just spinning you in a soul-dulling spiral with meaningless double talk? But at the same time, what if I kept you distracted with flashy graphics? Would you notice? Or for that matter, would you care? Nah, you're too busy listening to some guy in a tie and sleep.